Today we're going to take a look at the Peterson Luminex LED Trailer Light Kit. This is going to have your stop, tail, turn, and backup lights, and it's going to have a round design with a red and clear lens. Now this is going to be a very multifunctional light. We'll have our red lens with a small little cutout there that's going to have a clear lens, so that'll act as our backup single signal, and then the rest of the lens will act as our stop, turn, and tail light. On the back we'll have our mounting port for all our wiring. It comes with our two wirings as well as the grommet that goes around our light giving a little extra protection. So one harness will clip into place there. It has a little weather tight seal so we know we're going to get a good connection. Prevents any water from getting in there and causing any issues. It snaps into place and holds really securely on there. It's a little tricky to get it off once you have it put in place, but that's going to give us our ground, our power for our running lights, and then the power for our turn and tail or our turn and stop signals. The smaller blue wire that's going to be for our reverse light or our backup signal. So that's going to go into that smaller port. Again, has that weather tight seal. So that's going to just snap into place once we get it lined up. And you do have to press fairly hard to get that pushed in there, but then it's going to hold really securely on our light. Now I'm going to connect my functions here so we can look at how bright the light is going to be. Going to connect my running lights and then I'm going to tap the other two wires just so you can see those functions. So you can see our light is on there and then if I tap my red wire to my power that acts as our brake, if it's a solid signal or as our turn signal if it's an intermittent. And then our blue wire if we tap that to power Get my wire connect here. You'll see our reverse signal will turn on there. And that will work at the same time as our brake signal as well. So we can have all those functions at once. So if you're using your brakes while you're also backing up, that will still work properly. I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights out in the studio here so you can get a better idea of how bright this is going to be in dark conditions. So again, that's our running light signal or our tail light signal, brakes, stop signal, and turn signal. And then we can add in our reverse light as well. So as you can see, that's going to be a nice bright light. It's going to help to illuminate our in the rear of our trailer. Hold that up so you can see just how bright that's going to be. It's going to give you a pretty good cast of light there so you can see what's going on behind you. Now the nice thing about this light is that it is an LED construction or an LED design. So these are going to be up to 50 times longer lasting than your incandescent bulbs. And another nice thing about LEDs, there's no bulbs to replace. There's nothing that can break here and go bad. So pretty much as long as those LEDs are good, this will last you a long time. And since we have this nice weather tight seal, there really shouldn't be anything in there that can get in and cause any damage. It also has a surface mount technology which helps to better withstand shock and vibration. Our grommet will also help to diffuse a little bit of that shock and vibration as well. And the SMT technology helps to improve the heat distribution with a thinner construction on that board. So we don't have to worry about those LEDs burning out over time. Now we'll have that red lens over all our LEDs with the one little clear lens for our reverse signal. This is going to meet all legal backup requirements when used in pairs. So you'll have one on one side and another on the other. It does come again with that recessed style grommet. And our plug is going to be an AMP style. This is going to be DOT compliant and meets all FMVSS 108 requirements for automotive lighting. Now to remove this, again, it is going to be a little tricky 
I don't have the strongest hands in the world, so it might not be a bad idea to grab a flat bladed screwdriver to pry this back to actually pop it off. The smaller one's going to be a little easier, but there's just a little tab that that clip has to go over. So I'll try to pry this out here. Once it's on, you shouldn't really need to remove it for any reason, but there we go. So you can see, it's going to hold very tightly, no accidental disconnects there. Now as far as our dimensions for our light itself, with the grommet in place, it's going to be about five and a half inches wide, and overall with the grommet again, about two inches deep. The light on its own, if we pop it out of the grommet, will be four and a half inches wide and about one and a half inches deep. We'll have seven diodes in total. The input vol voltage for this will be between nine volts and 16 volts DC. And the LEDs do have a limited lifetime warranty from Peterson. To get that back in place in the grommet, you just press it down into place until it fully seats. And then our wiring, the reverse signal is going to be a little bit shorter, but then our other wiring, that's going to be about nine inches long. That's how much lead we'll get off of there, not including the plug itself. That's just the wires coming off the back. You do have a number 10 ring terminal already installed for your ground connection and then our reverse wire that's going to be about seven and a half inches of lead one last thing I want to note with this product is that it is made in USA and that's going to do it for our look at the Peterson Luminex LED trailer tail light kit with stop, tail, turn, and backup signals in a round design with a red and clear lens.